Hey everybody, I'm here today to tell you how to close your first deal as a real estate agent. Getting started in the real estate profession can be quite difficult and it is especially hard to close your first deal. But I'm going to be outlining a very simple process that you can follow in this video and if you follow that process, you will be able to close your first deal in less time than you ever thought possible. Let's get right to it. All of real estate sales and real estate deals come from basically three avenues. The first avenue is friends and family and referrals from the friends and family members. So whether you directly list a house or sell a house, dealing with a friend or a family member or a referral from them. The second avenue is leverage from previous sales. So basically if you have your sold sign on the lawn of a house and someone is driving by and they see that you've sold that house, they call your number and they list their house with you. So leverage from previous sales or another aspect of that is if you sell a house in a neighborhood and the neighbor wants to sell their house, they say, who did you sell your house with? and they give them your contact information and then they pass, they refer you from your previous sale. And the third avenue is brand new clients. So people that you meet on the street, you are at a coffee shop, you overhear, you overhear that, someone is, wants, that someone is listing their house or wants to buy a house and you go and introduce yourself to them. So those are the three avenues, friends and family, leverage from previous sales and also new clients, okay? Now as a new real estate agent, you can't access number two because you, you're trying to close your first deal, you have not made any previous deals, so you cannot have leverage from any previous sales that you have not made, okay? So you are limited to number one and, and three. One and three. Friends and family, which is number one, and new clients, which is number three. I'm going to tell you how to unlock a deal and unlock a real estate deal from those two avenues right now. Okay, so basically the key factor is that you have to offer something of value to those people. Now, you're a new real estate agent and you want to close your first deal. Your friends and family members, they're already on your side. You don't really have to prove much to them, but if you can prove something to them, they will be more than happy to refer your business to their friends and family members that you don't already know. Okay? So they will refer you through word of mouth. Now, how do you prove yourself to them? You offer something of value. It's very simple. Don't just call them up. Hey, cousin John, uh, I'm a real estate agent. You want to list your house with me? That's not what you should do. Okay, they're already on your side. I get it. They want to do you a favor, I'm assuming. However, offer something of value. So, a few things that you can offer as a brand new real estate agent. You can offer a free home evaluation. So you can go over to their house and tell them what their house is worth using professional evaluation skills. Don't just make up a number, bring comparables in the area and tell them what their house is worth by giving them value, by actually offering something that they can't find out for themselves offer them something that they you know they can't just they can just go around their house and assume that this is worth that and this is worth that and this is the value of the home but offer them something of value by telling them look at these comparables your house is comparable to this house that just sold for this amount so therefore this is what it should be roughly worth Offer them something of value. So free home evaluation is one of the things that you can offer. You can offer them a free consultation for selling their home. Or the third thing that you can offer, which I love because this is, in my opinion, one of the, one of the most effective tools. You can offer them a typed out document that basically explains to them something about listing their home. So for instance, you can tell them uh, these are three things that you should do before you list your home. Offer them a document, okay, on, on paper, something that they can read in like five or ten minutes and something that offers value to them. You can also say five things to do before you list your home, something like that. Something that they can read in five or ten minutes and make sure that at the bottom of that document you include your contact information. So those are three things that you can offer of value to your friends and family members to get them on your side and to allow them to spread your real estate contact 
information to their friends and family members, free home evaluation, free consultation, or a typed out document in print format, something that you can type out on the computer and print out, a typed out document in print format with your contact information on it that offers them some new information that relates to real estate. Now, when you give them that typed out document, if you choose that route, make sure that you give them 10 copies so that they can give it to their friends and family members. That is how you prove yourself to them. Now, in addition to that, because that's only the first avenue, I'm also explaining the third avenue. You're going to go and do the same thing, but you're going to go around neighborhoods. So you're going to research a neighborhood. Figure out the comparable previous sales, the recent sales, and you're going to go around that neighborhood door to door. You're going to introduce yourself. You're going to offer something of value to those people and be very nice because it can be intrusive knocking on someone's door. They don't know who you are. If you're nice and you are offering them something of value, then they're going to be more likely to actually listen as opposed to say, I'm not interested. I already have a real estate agent. So knock on those doors in that neighborhood with your research being done. Okay, make sure that you do your research, knock on those doors and offer them something of value, a free home evaluation, a free consultation, or that typed out document that, per that pertains to selling their house with some new information that they can use when they want to sell their house, if they want to sell their house. Now, here's the thing, you can't give up. Let's say that you knock on 999 doors and you say, and you haven't received any deals yet. Well, you say you give up. I did 999. Well, guess what? That 1,000th door might be the person that gives you your first deal. So don't give up. And if you, if you exercise both of these avenues, if you go to your friends and family members and if you knock door to door after having done the appropriate research, you will soon enough close your first deal. There's no point in sitting around, waiting for people to call you, doing a few little things here and there, dillying and dallying, and just doing a few things, waiting for someone to call you. If you don't go out and get it, you're not gonna get your first deal. So get off your butt, go start calling up your friends and family members and going to visit them. Go start knocking door to door and go and close your first deal. And that's basically it. In this video, I have spoken to you about closing your first deal as a real estate agent. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.